And now it's my pleasure to introduce our Executive Vice President of Product Operations, George Curian. George? Thank you, Tom. Good morning and welcome to NetApp Insight, especially to our customers and partners and to our technical teams. I want to talk a little bit about what we delivered to you this past year. You know, Tom talked about an industry-leading portfolio of innovation that combines the power of clustered ONTAP for shared storage with the momentum of the E-Series for dedicated storage environments. The world's best flash portfolio with proven high-performance operating systems, industry-leading storage efficiency, proven high availability, and flexible deployment options to allow our customers to have the right choice of flash for the right workload. The momentum of converged infrastructure with the FlexPod design delivering value across the stack, combining best of breed capabilities from Cisco and NetApp. And we announced web scale object storage, providing to you over the next year the most scalable object storage platform to support new application workloads. All of this helps you transform customers' data centers, simplify, modernize, streamline it for the next phase of the journey ahead. But as Tom talked about, that's not enough. Because most customers that we talk to are discussing how to deploy a hybrid cloud architecture. You know, Tom talked, to, talked about the fact that the hybrid cloud will be the defining architecture for large enterprises. And many analyst firms, as well as the discussions that we have with large enterprises, give us one data point. More than three quarters of large enterprises are either deploying or about to deploy a hybrid cloud architecture. And why is that? It is because the hybrid cloud promises efficiency and flexibility. It promises access to the world's digital capabilities, skill sets that are not available in our IT organizations, cost efficiencies, and the world's knowledge as digital services at the end of a wire. How transformative is that? Most importantly, the hybrid cloud done right allows IT to enable business transformation, to deliver new capabilities that enable competitive advantage for the business. Now, data is at the center of the hybrid cloud. It is the only thing of lasting value. It is the thing that needs to be shared and integrated across the hybrid cloud to deliver business value. It is the thing that needs to be secured and protected. Just like when you move from one email system to another, the only thing you really care about are the photographs and the digital memories of your children that you want to bring forward from the old to the new. Data is the centerpiece of the hybrid cloud. It is the only reason that a hybrid cloud exists. And unfortunately, today, the hybrid cloud is not operational when it comes to data. You see, today's world of the hybrid cloud is a whole range of isolated, incompatible data silos. Every cloud provider has created a lot of cloud service value. But every cloud provider has this same discussion with the enterprise. Rewrite your applications so that they work on my cloud. Put your data in my cloud. What they don't tell you is that once your data is on that cloud, there is no way to move it to another cloud. There is no way to take advantage of your existing capabilities and business processes. There is no way to share that data. And it's essentially like this. Think about if you had some money, 
that you wanted to deposit in a bank for temporary safekeeping while you figured out your investment strategy. So you take your money and you put it in a bank and think about what you want to do with those assets. Over a three-month period, you figure out a set of mutual funds that you want to deposit that money into to get a higher rate of return. So now you go to that bank and you ask that bank, listen, I want to take 20% of my deposits and put it into the mutual fund. What happens if the bank tells you, I can't do that? You see, that mutual fund requires money to be deposited in a format that I don't understand or in a currency that I cannot convert your assets into. What happens if that bank tells you the only mutual fund you can deposit that money into is the one that I have? That is the hybrid cloud today. Inoperational, isolated, incompatible data silos. And our perspective is that this is a world where the cloud provider is really in control of your IT architecture and more importantly, of your data. It is a world that we call all about their cloud and their data. So how do you think about operationalizing the hybrid cloud? You know, Tom talked about taking advantage of the efficiency, the flexibility, and the elasticity that the cloud offers, but still being main, able to maintain control of your destiny, to manage risk. We think that what the world needs, and which no one in the IT industry has talked about, is a seamless way to connect the different data management environments in the different clouds that you choose to put your data into a seamless, cohesive, well-integrated fabric. A fabric is essentially a piece of cloth that ties together different disparate elements into one well-woven, cohesive whole. And what we talk about with our customers and what we believe the IT industry needs is a data fabric that ties together the disparate cloud environments and the data environments in those clouds into one well-woven, seamless, integrated entity. What this allows you to do is to replace today's world of an inoperational cloud with the following. What if you had a consistent way to manage and secure and protect your data in all of the clouds where you choose to put it? you get to leverage your existing business processes and policies without risk in the future of the hybrid cloud. That's efficiency. What if the data formats across all of the different clouds that you put your data in were entirely consistent? This allows you to just bring your applications to the cloud rather than rewrite it for the cloud. That's acceleration of innovation. What happens if you had a seamless way to move data from one cloud to another when you need it, where you need it? That puts you in control. You see, the NetApp data fabric for the hybrid cloud weaves together the disparate data elements of the hybrid cloud into a single integrated architecture that gives you control and choice while taking advantage of the flexibility, the elasticity, and the ubiquity of the hybrid cloud. It makes operationalizing the hybrid cloud a reality. Now, let's talk about whether fabrics exist. You know, let me give you a couple of other examples. I talked about the monetary system. You know, fabrics make modern systems work. Think about how you got here. Most of you probably traveled here by airplane from some distant location to Las Vegas. And as you traversed the world, your flight was handed off from one air traffic control zone to another. Each of those air traffic control zones had the exact same way to represent your flight, the same data format, the same identification number for your flight. 
And as your flight transferred from one air traffic control tower to another, they had a seamless way to hand it off. Now think about what would happen if all of those air traffic control towers had different ways to represent your flight. And what happens if they couldn't hand it off seamlessly? You see, fabrics make modern systems work. Fabrics are the foundation of the modern transportation system. Fabrics are the foundation of the monetary system. They make the world work. And the NetApp data fabric will make the hybrid cloud work on behalf of our customers and service providers. So how do you build a data fabric? Let me talk about how to build one. You see, it's not easy to build a data fabric. Many of our competitors have ignored the idea of needing component technology like an awesome virtualized storage foundation. And now they're in huge trouble with massive exposure in their portfolio, and they keep bolting on technologies to try to create a veneer of virtualization. We've been at it for more than a decade. You see, we started this journey in 2004, where with data on tap, we virtualized storage, providing for customers capabilities like multi-protocol and flexible volumes and storage efficiency that allowed you to manage data across a pool of virtualized storage. Some of our startup competitors are trying to call what they're doing innovation. They're essentially doing what we did in 2004. And to you, I salute you. Now, from 2009 onwards, we moved virtualization beyond the realm of a single storage system, where we virtualized with cluster data on tap entire storage systems you can virtualize up to 24 fast systems into a single pool of storage that's 100 petabyte large. We added in capabilities like flash technology, hybrid flash, and all flash technology into that pool so that you could support a broad range of workloads. We added in industry unique capabilities like non disruptive operations so that you could operate that storage pool in a nonstop fashion. We virtualize EMC storage, Hitachi storage, white box storage, so that you have a single software-defined data management capability set across a whole range of storage environments. And we added two capabilities that do for storage what virtualization does for computing. One of them is data motion, the other is a beautiful, mobile, protected, secure, performant storage virtual machine. Think about virtual machine motion, and think about the virtual machine in computing. We created that, and we're the only ones in the storage industry that have that. So you've got this awesome foundation. And today, will announce the next major step forward in that virtualization capability. You see, today, we are taking this virtualized storage foundation and substantially expanding it with the next major upgrade of cluster data on tap, version 8.3. We announced the availability of version 8.3 today. It will be available to customers over the next few weeks. And let me tell you about what's awesome in 8.3, because it brings a whole range of capabilities to the foundation of the NetApp data fabric for the hybrid cloud. First of all, all customers look at a common set of criteria as they look at this foundation, performance, scalability, availability, and efficiency. In performance, we've made huge improvements across virtually every criterion that customers evaluate their data foundation on. Business critical workloads, virtualized workloads, and on and on. Let me give you two examples. In flash technology, we have increased the performance of our two-way system to 350,000 IOPS. That is 
a 60% plus improvement from an equivalent 8.2.2 release. <laughs> and is more than 55% ahead of the nearest ground up all flash competitor. No one else can do that. In virtualization, we expanded the performance for clone deletion and creation by 300%. That gives us 10 times the performance for virtualized storage than the nearest competitor. 10 times the performance. <laughs> and in scalability, I talked about 100 petabytes in a single virtualized storage pool, 96,000 LUNs for SAN environments, 4 million IOPS in all flash configurations, massive increases in the total flash capacity in a single storage pool. And you know what? Even our entry 2500 series platforms can go eight wide and scale up to three and a half petabytes. How about that? Now, in addition to performance, we've also substantially enhanced the availability of our systems by adding in an industry-leading disaster protection solution called Clustered ONTAP Metro Cluster. Clustered ONTAP Metro Cluster provides for synchronous disaster protection across metro-wide data centers. And coupled with non-disruptive operations, gives you the capability to offer zero data loss for customers. No one else in the industry can do this. <laughs> What's even better is that it's very easy to deploy. Set it once and forget for both NAS and SAN. And all of the features that you've deployed on our storage systems continue to work unchanged, unlike bolt-on imitations from comp competitors. No one else can do this. Now, let's close by talking about efficiency. Efficiency is all about cost of storage. We've made some substantial improvements with advanced drive partitioning techniques that allow us to offer substantial improvements in both entry systems and all flash systems. In flash, we've not only improved the cost per gigabyte through drive partitioning, but we've also integrated inline pattern removal and advanced data compression techniques to deliver you awesome dollar per gigabyte and really high value throughput out of your flash configurations. And in entry platforms, very simply, the 2500 series platforms with clustered ONTAP 8.3 are the best storage efficient platforms in the industry. So what? For enterprise applications, you can combine all flash performance with continuous data availability to deliver a modern architecture for the next generation data center and rip out those tired old legacy frame arrays. For entry configurations, you simply have the world's best operating system with enterprise data management features in the best value package in an entry system. And for virtualized environments, we extend our leadership with performance, simplification, scalability, and automation. Now, 8.3 is an awesome foundation. What do you do next to build a hybrid cloud data fabric? You connect it into the world's leading application stacks. Whether they're from VMware or Microsoft or Red Hat or OpenStack, we have the best integrations across the board that gives you the ability to deploy a consistent data management architecture and choose your technology stack. With VMware, we introduced integrations with VMware virtual volumes. We're the only SAN and NAS provider to provide support for VMware virtual volumes 
allowing to instantly provision and manage virtual disks. For Microsoft, we have enhancements with both the SMB3 architecture as well, as well as with Azure Site Recovery and other tool sets that allow you to now deploy a multi-hypervisor technology integration. Go to the boats to see this in action. And with OpenStack, we have over the past year, both in the E-Series and in Data on Tap, enabled the full range of NetApp value across object, file, and block. Only solution set that supports a common data management foundation across multiple technology stacks. So now you've got these two building blocks. What do you do next to build a hybrid cloud data fabric? You deploy them in the world's leading cloud environments. So we have today 275 service providers building 400 cloud services on top of our clustered ONTAP systems. Awesome capability that allows you to now choose to deploy a portion of your IT architecture into service provider environments. We also announced the NetApp private storage solution set that combines the elasticity and flexibility of cloud computing with secure, protected data management with clustered on tap so that you can take advantage of what the cloud offers while minimizing the risk. You know, one CIO who was all in on the cloud decided to choose this solution rather than put all his data into a public cloud because he told us, this architecture gives me 99% of the benefits of the public cloud with 1% of the risks. 99% of the benefits with 1% of the risks. Today, we are excited to announce the newest addition to the NetApp private storage solution ecosystem, IBM SoftLayer. We're excited to work with our partners with, from IBM to allow customers to take advantage of NetApp private storage solutions for use cases like DevOps or for multi-site application availability. And also think about this. If you want to arbitrage and really have your choice of cloud provider based on cost or performance or service levels, what better way than to have your data protected on a NetApp private storage solution, but then move your workloads across the cloud? We can help you do that cloud brokering idea today. And let me close the product announcements with the last and perhaps the most visionary of what we're doing. We talked about NetApp private storage. Today, we talk about a new era for data in the public clouds, bringing together two of the world's great platforms, the world's number one storage operating system with the world's leading public cloud. Data on tap as a software capability on Amazon Web Services. And how awesome is that? Well, let me tell you what it's so, what's so spectacular about it. You see, it brings the enterprise data management features of data on tap, multi-protocol, snapshots, integrated data protection, the world's leading data transport and data movement technology, Snap Mirror, storage efficiency, cloning, all of that value, combined with the global elastic instant scaling of Amazon Web Services and a flexible pay-as-you-go pricing model. Now, many of you probably stood in line at Starbucks this morning, and it probably took you 10 minutes to get your coffee. You can turn on this capability for less than five bucks an hour. That's less money than it took to get you a coffee and croissant in less time than it takes to get you a coffee and croissant. How awesome is that? <laughs> this is perfect for accelerating innovation. This is perfect for IT never having say, to say no to the business. This is perfect for that urgent situation where IT needs to provide capability to the business but wants to have control of the data. 
And we believe this is a game changer for customers because it now extends the value of NetApp's data management to the biggest, most scalable cloud environments in the world. So let me close. We talked about the hybrid cloud being the next phase of IT architecture revolution at all of our large customers. We talked about an awesome storage foundation. We talked about an awesome way to move your data, Snap Mirror. We talked about enhancements to our application ecosystem that allowed you to integrate this storage foundation with those application stacks. We talked about deploying it in multiple ways, both connected to clouds with NetApp private storage solutions or on clouds with Cloud on Tap. And we offer a set of enterprise class design, strategy, and transition services that allow customers to move from the architecture of today to the architecture of tomorrow. So we're excited to partner with you to help you realize this vision of operationalizing the public cloud and the hybrid cloud, moving from a world which is all about their cloud and their data to a world where you're in control, a world of your cloud and your data, powered by the NetApp data fabric that gives you the efficiency, the flexibility, the scalability of the hybrid cloud without any risk, giving you control and choice of data management and cloud provider. Your cloud, your data. Together, we can move the world from a world of isolated, incompatible data silos to a seamlessly woven, well-integrated hybrid cloud architecture, the NetApp data fabric. Together, we can help you unleash the innovation that your organization needs without any of the risks. Together, we can help you unleash the genius in you, your team, and your company. I want to thank you to, for having come to Insight. I encourage you to learn about the breathtaking portfolio that we have in front of you and how to drive competitive advantage from those technologies for your business. Thank you. Thank you.